All right, we're here after hours at the Miami International Boat Show uh, doing a quick, very quick walkthrough of the Hop Yacht 30, one of the more interesting uh, small cats that have shown up here at the show. We'll start our attention by looking first at the swim platform. That's a removable swim platform, so it folds up and onto the side. You've got a uh, ladder uh, that stows on the side as well. You may notice the rig comes back to either corner of the boat because it is a single sail rig. It's called a uh, uni rig. It was invented by uh, Phil Southwell, a South African catamaran designer. Call our attention to the cockpit table. It's a high low table, nice U-shaped seating area, some cup holders. We go forward as we pass the cockpit. You got a uh, bolster seat here. And of course, no diesels. These are electric engines, electric throttles. Here's our helm station that has a uh, Sumbrella Bimini. A single winch and single line to control the entire sail. Nice big uh, solid handrails going forward. Big solar array. Dyneema lifelines. Trampoline seating area with these two seats. An ice chest. Cute little windlass and uh, properly sized anchor. The jib uh, runs on a, this uh, bridle system to bring it up above the crossbeam so that it doesn't hit on the coach roof. And yes, in front of me, that is the single master stateroom with a queen size berth. We'll get to that momentarily. What exactly is in here is, this should just be storage. Yeah, this is access to tankage. So, there's no living space in the hulls. Everything lives on the bridge deck. The hulls are purely for mechanical equipment. Cockpit is done in uh, synthetic teak. And there are Shades up here that can be used, drop down to enclose the entire cockpit. Uh, yeah. Here you have a drink fridge with, uh, sorry, cockpit fridge and freezer. Hold on. I'm just going to let Keith out real quick. The rest of the galley countertop. A removable countertop lifts up to your sink. Uh, electric burner. Storage here. And up there. On the inside, you got a window above your uh, main interior seating area. This is another high-low table, so it drops down. Meaning you could bring maybe one guest with you to sleep here. And that's about as much as I think... Uh, that's about as many friends that I think you'll be able to get to join you. Here is the single head. Yes, the toilet paper is gray. I do not know why. And it is a dry head, so we have an enclosed shower. I don't usually do this, but I'll call the attention to the flooring material. It's from an American company called Mannheim or something like that. Kind of reminds me of the old uh, Voyage catamarans. They use sort of a similar industrial grade material. It's nice to walk on though. And here you have the uh, owner suite. Yes, that is a queen size walk around berth on a 30 foot catamaran.
Really? So some of you may be wondering who exactly is this boat, you know, kind of meant for? And, uh, you know, across from us is the leopard stand at the hop yacht. And, you know, people buy big charter catamarans to live on for, um, you know, to live on privately, either new or they buy them used and refit them. But eventually there comes a time to retire. And when you do that, sometimes you need something a little smaller. So you've got a nice little coastal cruiser that people can retire on. And there's a small but dedicated niche in the charter industry as well. Uh, they've got a couple of these in Southern Turkey, I'm told, where uh, they plan on chartering them those there. So, you know, interesting boat, not quite what you might expect at the Miami International Boat Show, but yeah, we've had a number of small cats show up and uh, it's a nice refresher. So that'll be that. If you have any questions, comments, uh, drop me a line. My contact info will be in the description and uh, also have a full spec sheet for you for those of you who are interested. All right. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you on the next one.